All right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well uh, Gemini Rising. Uh, Monthly general tarot reading April 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description. The description down below is going to give you uh, a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And uh, I have launched a courses, so if you want to learn. If you like how I learn, how I read tarot, I'm sorry, and you want to learn to read that way, um, in the description, again, you're going to find a link to my Facebook page and just give me a message there. So uh, that being said, moving to the first card of the spread here, which represents the very topic of your month, uh, Gemini, that will be the Seven of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself. That will be the Ace of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents uh, the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month here. Uh, that will be the Queen of Swords. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout uh, the month. And that will be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is... Um, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around that will be the ten of uh, the uh, knights of cups and it is a fantastic one guys uh for what it seems i mean up until this point the cards it's they are aligning beautifully uh in term of uh in term of your reading uh next one it uh, represents uh what you can do in order to uh further or to help your long-term goal in throughout the month of april that will be the uh temperance card Followed by uh, what is going to hurt your long-term uh, goal throughout the month of April. That will be the Nine of Cups. And the last one here, which stands as the guidance that uh, Taro is offering, we have the Tree of Wands. So those eight cards. Okay, so... Uh, Throughout the month of uh, April, you Gemini here with those couple of cards, which we do have the energies and then it is at the topic, you're going to become increasingly aware uh, of uh, what, is, what is generally is not going right into your life in general. And, and a big reason for it, it's a, a specific individual has it, okay? And that is described here into the third card. We're going to go there in a few minutes. Let's first talk about these two cards. So for now, you are, uh, the energies are going to make you increasingly aware over why uh, certain situations in your life are not working out. What is exactly the reason that you are not as far as you want yourself to be? And by you obtaining that insight and being more and more capable to place a, uh, a, a true diagnosis uh, over your situation, then uh, it seems that you are going to uh, take a break. That is the situation now that we're talking about, the team and the topic. You're going to take a break to analyze or to find out or to structure the correct way how you can approach such presented situation uh, such presented itself a situation through your awareness and uh, it will make sense when we go to the third card okay but because with those two here it's it's like a uh, you are doing things in your life and up until now you, you you haven't put a second thought into it right but right now into the month of april you are saying to yourself wait a minute there there, there, there is something not exactly right with this one there isn't um, things should not work or they're not supposed to work that way. Or, for example, I am not doing a favor to myself doing this, you know, or being with this person or, or, or chasing that goal in general. So uh, that being said, with those two cards, you are going to give a, a huge thought into how you spend your time, how you spend your resources, how you spend your efforts as well, you know, how you spend your emotions as well. And uh, instead of blindlessly rushing, chasing ghosts here throughout the month of April, you are to be much more cautious in terms of, you know, what kind of uh, incorporation you're taking into a, the enterprises that are bestowed upon you. Because uh, the very least, you are going to identify that you are not obliged 
to take a participation into neither of it. And you get to choose which one you want to be in and which one you don't want to be in. So um, just to um, overview those couple of cards here, we do have a big awareness where leak of resources, finances, energy it, it is. What is the reason of that leak? And you are going to feel or plumb the gap. Okay, it's like feeling the gap, not allowing this this leak to proceed any further than that. You you you're not gonna want to have any of it anymore. So uh, the big reason for it it is this person here, which is the Queen of Swords. Uh, that is the challenge that you need to overcome as well. Now, you need to know that is a, a very smart one, okay? They, they can basically make the most out of any kind of situation that it is presented. Even if it is a bad one, they, uh, if there is a, uh, a way to get beneficial from it, they know the way. And the thing is that they do not, do not care about circumstances in the sense of that they are determined to push there and I want to um, kind of like uppercase that there things through they don't care about yours your things through okay or they do not care about your things they want to push their things through and for one or another reason you are a part of their things through and throughout this month you will become increasingly aware that you are simply being used in one or another way. Now, this, uh, this usage, if you will, doesn't have to be that major, okay? It doesn't have to be for the entirety of your life. You may be used to do something in terms of a project into career that at the end of the day is not going to benefit you at all, okay? And it serves for a benefit of someone else. You may become aware that you have been used in terms of friendship as well. In generally, you are to become aware that you are placing your trust in the wrong place here with this person and they, that they don't simply, I would say it that way, a deserve to have you at their side. Now, why this is going to be a challenge? Because they don't handle walkaways that easily. Okay, probably this one has a certain leverage over you in the sense of the day, if it comes to that, they can blackmail you, okay? But one or another way, you have to find a way how to uh, pretty much sever that dependency. And, and this is what we do have into the gifts and the blessings. And this is why we do have the seven of pentacles. And, and it is why I said, you are going to contemplate how to approach the situation and it makes sense now. You are going to contemplate how to approach the situation to sever that dependency, knowing that this person holds a leverage against you and they can blackmail you, right? So it's like trying to find a way out of this mutual cooperation, which isn't exactly mutual, but it is more or uh, at least very uh, very little of your behalf of your favor and a lot of the favor of this person here queen of swords um quite rec quite ruthless excuse me not reckless but ruthless very smart very calculative and completely ignorant for the pain of others that is queen of swords they simply doesn't care okay and you need to find a way how to deliver an information or, or to, to take the precautionary measures so you don't get blackmailed okay and uh, you you have to again find a way how to deliver an information that you are no longer at their disposal uh furthermore we do have the gifts and the blessings that is to be the ten of pentacles which is the gift of independence okay uh, now many people were asking me why independence right well, that is to be discussed into the course, but long story short here, now the person that we do see into the card, it is old, already have accomplished all that is on the card, so therefore he is not dependent on anything. He already enjoys his achievements. That's why independency, okay? So yeah, uh, that is to be gifted to you, independency. 
um, returning a favor, returning a loan. By the way, this card comes up a lot into this month's reading. So probably it is a time into the month of April that we pretty much settle scores. Okay. And that will be your gifts and blessing to settle a, a score. Additional thing about the Ten of Pentacles, it is that uh, you are to feel quite a lot of warmth from everybody that cares for you, okay, but not from this one, which is the Queen of Swords. And finally, as a gift and blessing, Ten of uh, Pentacles gives you the gift and the blessing of reconciliation, okay, in the sense of that someone that you did not had in, that, that you did not had a touch for you quite a while now is going to reappear into your life. It, that doesn't have to be. Uh, necessarily a romantic reconciliation okay it could be just a revival of a friendship that you missed uh, for a quite a few years okay or it just could be someone who wants you to forgive them about something and etc etc so that is going to be gifted to you guys however it is entirely up to you to decide are you going to forgive or are you going to reconcile or not now moving next, it is uh, the impression of the people around and we do have the Knight of Cups and uh, that card kind of points that people are going to see you as an individual who now finally listens to, the, uh, to their well-being and starts to do things which are in favor of their well-being instead of a doing things in favor of someone else's agenda and someone else's a uh, well-being once again, which is the Queen of Swords one. So in other words, people were seeing you as an individual who now throws efforts and resources into their um, personal development and unfoldment, or uh, if we have to completely kind of like a keyword the card, um, toward their the toward the dreams of their heart instead of the dreams of the heart of someone else right uh, and another thing that people are going to see into you is um, I cannot say that it is a, a devotion or a dedication it's more like a, a, a an understanding that as much as you put into it as much as you're going to get from it so uh, that being said, people are going to see a as someone who is fully um, aware that um, they are going to get just as much as they have worked for. So you, you're not going to be disappointed with an expectations. Um, in other words, if you start, if someone approaches you with an, an idea and you say, OK, let's try it out, but you don't put much into it people are going to see you as a, a person who is also ready not to get much from it as well. So it's not like people are not going to see you as an individual who has a high hopes, high dreams, and it's kind of like flying, flying in the skies. And it's pretty much with a uh, ridiculous expectations. This is what I am trying to say here with the Knight of Cups. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, uh, people are to see major, major improvement into your lifestyle in general. Uh, moving next, it is what you can do in order to further your goal. We do have the temperance card. Couple of things here. Uh, first one, it is that you have to understand that not everybody is going to be by your side. People are different. People are having different goals, different agendas, you know. And if someone does not want to follow you, well, you can put them behind yourself. Another thing about the temperance, it is that um, goals are accompanied with chores. And as much as we all want it, we can't avoid settling the chores. And therefore, you have to, it is exactly where you have to start from. Once you identify your well being, you have to first sort out the chores that are accompanying the whole procedure. And finally, uh, temperance points that you need to show compassion and solidarity, especially to those who may not be agreed with your standpoint, but are um, respecting it and they're not influencing you in any way negative or a positive one uh next one it is what you can do in order to uh, hurt your goal so that that card here points what you should not do and that is nine of cups and that is trying to convince yourself that life as it is right now it is actually a wish fulfillment of yours because this is what the queen of swords will try to um, make you uh, will try to convince you in that this is what you want this is what you need right that you are nothing without her or without him and uh, to convince you that uh, you ain't gonna be any happier if you detach from that person 
And if you believe into that, you actually are going to hurt your long-term goal. Because the card here points that in a such situation that you are in with this person here, Queen of Swords, there is no happiness that can be sustained with the with the Nine of Cups. And you can't expect for, for anything more. And even on contrary, you can just expect the things to deteriorate for you that is not for the queen of swords you can ex you you can take on that person like a, a like it is a vampire draining out the uh the vital um uh, force from those that she or he uh is attracting into the situation it's a user nothing else and the last one here which we do have for you gemini it is uh the tree of wands that is the um guidance that tarot is offering so the card here points that once you detach from this person queen of swords you are going to see that you are not as deprived and bereft as you think you are as a matter of fact that you are sitting on a quite well established uh foundations solid patterns you do have a lot to accomplish yet and that is the thing with the tree of wands you have to uh, identify what you want to accomplish and the card urges you to push yourself think beyond your limits okay think uh, above your expectations as well and simply put a challenge to yourself you know challenge yourself with a, a harder job challenge yourself with a harder a uh, harder relationship to obtain challenge yourself in generally with things that you under normal circumstances would not dare to think of and another thing about the three of wands here in term of a uh, guidance it is that should your um, expectations are not um, fulfilled throughout a certain period of time you performing in one enterprise that means that this enterprise ain't for you that could be seen as well into the knights of cups because what we said about the knights of cups the more you put in the more you get out so you are uh, the benefits are reciprocal to the actions you take and if the benefits are way lower than the uh than the effort you give in then simply that thing aim for you at all so that being said gemini this was your a monthly tarot reading april 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again uh if you are interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such and depending on the service you purchase i'm going to contact you within 24 hours uh, giving you details uh, how your reading is going to take place and one more thing i have started courses so if you want to learn to read the way i read as well uh, if you like the way i read and you want to learn to read that way um in the description down below as well is my facebook page a link to it and uh, just give me a message there to uh have an information how the courses are taking place and how many spots are open yet so yeah, uh, that being said, stay safe now, guys, and uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.